It is Thursday, the 25th or 24th of November. Goodness me. Literally, I just looked at the date beforehand. 24th of November. I'm performing at a brand new gig, which I'm absolutely pumped for. BFF Comedy. I'm pumped. What the fuck am I saying? Clown. BFF Comedy um, at literally the pub that's across my road. It's called the Allen Hitchhiker. Previously, uh, one of my main sort of going out places in my 20s. So... I'm not really, I'm not going to go up there with anything that I've really prepared. I've thought about some stuff, but I'm just basically going to go up and talk about the good old days when I was at the Keys. And um, I don't know, like, I just, I, I don't know what it is. I think because, you know, I grew up in this area and that is one of the places that me and my friend, like, this is my home. And um, I just, I don't know, I just want to have this one for me. Hopefully I can say something that people enjoy. Hopefully it'll be something that they will laugh about. It's not likely that I'll be ever saying any of this stuff ever again because it's going to be for the moment, but I don't care. Hopefully it's good. from this area like I grew up on Holloway Road this is this is like my home so I'm really happy to have you here just don't stay too late <laughs> but like there's a there's a few institutions on Holloway Road and we are actually like on hollow ground man because this pub does that is anyone is actually anyone actually from here like or know the area yeah do you remember when the keys was here yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's it <laughs> I mean, this place was the most aggressive Irish pub this side of a potato farm. Do you know what I mean? Like, if these walls could talk, it'd probably headbutt you. Like, <laughs> and, um, I haven't got the stats right, but I think I've probably thrown up here more times than anywhere else in the world. Do you know what I mean? The tars in the toilet are just spread with my DNA. All right, not the good one, but um, like, no, it was, it was just so funny because we used to come here every weekend. Me and my me and my best friend Mark, like. Um, you know, we'd be pre-gaming, like, this was like fucking 15, 20 years ago, like, I'm 35, I know I look young. Um, thank you, no, no. I'm 35 on Tuesday. Does not crack. Um, I know it's a title joke, well I did, Jesus Christ. But um, yeah, like me and my friend used to pre-game, we'd be like playing FIFA and just sitting next to each other, uh, hoping we'd have someone else that would love us except each other, do you know what I mean? But I don't want to hang out And um, like one of the things that as a black person, right, doesn't matter how, you, how good or bad you look, you know, I know I've got these kind of like CeeLo Green vibes with no hair. With hair. <laughs> like, you know that if you go to any place full of white people, there's a strong chance that at least one of them's going to like you. A strong chance, right? Now, my best friend Mark's Irish, yeah? Irish people are not interested in anyone else except for Irish people. You know, I'll be coming here and I'll be spitting my game, I'll be doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, dancing, whatever. Dancing to DJ Terry, nothing, emptiness. I'm looking at Mark, boy, he is slaying. Every time he's with someone, I'll tell you what, there's absolutely no way Mark is better looking than me. It's guaranteed, all right? I mean, like, he might be worse, you know what I'm saying? Like, he might be worse looking than me, but like, the guy was just doing it, man. They just want their Irish babies, you know? Um, this is the first place I actually kissed a black girl, which is, you know, shows something about me, which is not great. And, uh, <laughs> but like, I, I was thinking about it today because I was thinking, like, I know it sounds like, like um, this is material, but I was thinking about it during the day, and I think, I think what I think what happened was like we were the only two black people in this place, and we were just like both looking at each other, being like, what the fuck's going on? Like, it's not happening. No one's interested. And I think we just gravitate towards each other. Shit place, you know. But there you go. Holloway Road actually is um does anyone frequent is it in that much? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Like Holloway Road for me is like um it's the uh capital that homeless person is your cousin capital of the world. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because everyone is like either a degenerate or related to them. You know, they're asking for money and shit like that. And um that's what I find really interesting about Islington, because you get the dynamics, right? You know, it's Islington South, which is kind of like, 
past Highway in Islington is the highest bike theft area in the country. Can you believe that? Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do not ride your bike here. You know, it's just a strong chance that this is my outfit. Strong chance someone dressed like me is probably going to come and take your bike. You know, you see Islington, all outfit, North London, tracksuit bottoms with matching shorts. You know what I'm saying? Like, just so you can have it. That's what we do. You know, yeah. No, that's basically it. Like, I, I do love Islington. Um, like, I, I remember the first time I got beat up over here, leaving, uh, leaving uh, the keys. And I deserved it, fully deserved it. Do you know what I mean? This is what happens when you get drunk. And um, you know when, like, uh, you get so drunk, it's kind of like a movie montage where you just... You remember the key moments, but you're not sure how they connect together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I remember, so, I remember like going down to the urinal, right? And I'm going, I've got, I remember going into the urinal, coming out, and I see his hand just tapped me right on the back of my shoulder. And I was like, oh, you all right? And it was a bouncer, he goes, uh, you fucking out, I can't do an Irish accent. I did, it's fucking over here, like, you know, <laughs> you know, here, like, you know, it's like Northern Irish. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's Northern Irish, thank you. It's a good accent, I guess. Um, I'll take you out of here, right? Apparently, I'd thrown up in the urinal. No recollection. They had to remind me and tell me. Oh, they give me a flash here. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. That's what I wanted to say. I, to say. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of an actual show. I'm going to sit here being lovely. Thank you. I'll be <laughs> I have just finished BFF and uh, had a fucking great time. Obviously, wasn't the most polished because I was trying some brand new stuff, but seemed to get a good reception. I was number one first on the bill, which was good because, uh, I don't know, it was nice to get it out of the way, remembered what I was going to do. And do you know what? It was really... Uh, first, actually, my phone ran out of memory, so it's going to... Sorry for cutting halfway through and going over to uh, the other clip. Thank you, Reese, for... Saw me out there. Uh, you know, it, it seemed to have got, I've seemed to get quite a good bit of feedback there. So, although that bit was unique to BFF comedy because I'd been there before and I just wanted to think of some new stuff, you know, I'm still trying to see if I can take anything out of there and bank it or take care of the premises there because it seemed to go pretty well. You know, I didn't, I, obviously, I gave it some thought, so it was a bit more than just chatting and, and, and just saying things improvising on the spot but there was some improvisation and some thought behind it and then just kind of pieced together there and then and um yeah it seemed to go really well for some reason but i was getting a lot of love tonight the mc was all on point and you know what for it was a show full of comedians but it was a really good atmosphere i don't know if it's because of thursday everyone was great the room's great the mcs were fantastic i hope to god that i'm able to do bff comedy again because um, one yep it took me maybe 43 seconds to walk there and you know rolling home there so I'm at the bus stop now for lighting and that's about it great show happy to do it what are we doing we're going on to the next one